Hey everyone. So today I've got another first impression video. This time it's going to be on a Zippo lighter and a Thunderbird vector butane insert. Uh, let's talk about the Zippo lighter first and then I'll talk about why I chose to go with the vector a Thunderbird insert or more importantly a butane insert which is what I was looking for. First and foremost, what Zippo did I get? Well, as the side sign says here, I got a 1941 brass vintage lighter. So this is a replica of a 1941 lighter that was made by Zippo. So I'll just do a quick unboxing. I have unboxed this and how you know is that I've taken the sticker off the Zippo. Usually that sticker runs lengthwise to prevent it from opening. I've taken it off and I like to place them here so that I have that uh, sticker if I ever need to send it back. Great thing about Zippo is it has a lifetime warranty. So if you ever needed to replace any of the parts, if they ever, anything ever happened to it, you could send it in. And this is why I like to keep the stickers the way they are. So unbox that and there it is. Inside they cover, by the way, you get a little, uh, you know, instructions and, and safety warnings and a, a little bit more about the, the warranty itself. And the Zippo, like I said, I have unboxed it, but here, in case you want to pause it, there's talking about the differences in the 1941 versus regular. And I'll go over those, the ones that I know of anyway. So the lighter itself is here. It's a little bit shorter as far as height goes and to a standard lighter. I like the rounded look of it. I think this will fit. It's a little shorter, so I think it'll fit nice in that small jean pocket and nice in my EDC carrying pouch. It's a four uh, internal hinge versus I believe the new ones are five. I may be wrong there. And I think the original one was three and it was external, not internal. Um, and on the bottom, it doesn't have the like the cocan or the concave sort of bottom. It's just nice and flat with rounded edges here. And mine was H18, which I think is August 2018. So nothing fancy about this lighter. It's quite new. There's the standard click. You can see it's solid brass on the inside. And the insert itself is, I believe, brass plated, not full brass. I'll take it out so you can see it is a F18, which if I'm not mistaken, would be June. Now there's seven holes in here on each side, making that a 14 hole lighter versus the 16, which is the new ones. And I actually thought, somebody can comment on this, but I thought this little rivet here was supposed to be hollow the whole way through. I may be wrong there, but I thought that they were making them. There may have been something wrong with that design when they made these 41 replicas, so maybe they've switched. But other than that, it's pretty standard. So that's that. Um, now, I may have not mentioned the reason why I'm not sticking with this is the fact that it uses lighter fluid and that fluid evaporates because the Zippo lighter doesn't make a true seal here. Uh, it doesn't even make a true seal here. I mean, if this bottom was sealed off in a canister, then that would, that would, that would solve the problem. But because it doesn't seal, I don't smoke. I'm not using this all the time. I'm just using this for camping. I was looking for another solution. So I'm going to use the case. I'm not going to use this piece. So there's not too much to talk about with the insert. The instructions on here are just going to show a pamphlet of all the other lighters they have and how to fill it up. I'm not going to go through that detail. If you want me to, let me know. I'll do a recap, but um, I don't feel the need to do that. Um, and I'm going to move that aside. So a little bit about this. This is um, pretty standard. It, it replicates a Zippo lighter. There's your cam. Um, there's, you know, the wheel. Uh, rather than having a wick, there's just a little um, hole where the butane comes out. And on the bottom you have, this would be to change the, I believe the flint, this uh, little button here in the middle or, or sliding arrow is to change the flame height, the amount of fuel that comes out. And then that's how to fill it up. So you would take a butane canister, which I don't currently have. I have some of my other, at my storage place. Uh, you would put it in, fill it up. The only thing is, is I've heard people say they're not really sure when it's full. I have another little butane insert similar to this that it, if it starts to bubble, it technically means it's full. I'm not sure, I'll have to experiment with that. I may do that on camera, so you may see that at the end of the video or right now. I may cut to it. I may not. We'll see about that. So let's talk about filling this Thunderbird butane insert. So on the bottom, as I mentioned, we have these three pieces. This little piece here, I'll bring it up a little bit if it focuses. It may not, but I'll bring it a little bit lower. There's a little um, insert here, and the bottle that I use is this right here, butane gas cartridge. It's this perfect. I ended up buying a case of this. It's got a little um, nozzle here and essentially you would put this, hopefully if it fits, it does fit, just checking that, and you would push down and it would fill it up. 
Now I haven't tested this yet, so we'll just see how this fills up. I just wanna say before I use this, first of all, I got a towel down. This is gas, the towels, just in case, obviously if it drips a bit on the floor, which I wouldn't want. I am doing this inside. It is winter in the Pacific Northwest, so it's pretty cold outside for me to do it outside on the patio. I would encourage you to do this outside. I am set up near a window and the window is currently open. So please don't try any of this stuff inside your house in a non-ventilated area. It's not good. All right, so let's test this out before it gets too cold in here. That window is really cold. Hmm. There you go. So what just happened, how I know that it's full, is I got some on my finger. I could feel it rubbing, coming down onto my finger. Essentially, I believe that when you fill this up, if it starts to come out, in the sense you feel a little bit of the liquid or the gas, it's quite cold on this one finger, that probably means that it's completely full. I have a Japanese, uh, traditional Japanese siphon coffee maker, and in the bottom you could use a candle or you could use a butane little insert, and I have that, and on the bottom the instructions for that will say, if you're putting this in and you start to see a bubble or hear that it's bubbling, it's full. I don't know how accurate that is with when it comes to these, but as I was filling it up, then I started to feel a little bit coming on my finger. I'm assuming it was overflowing. So this would be full. Uh, no proof warranty, which is their warranty. Now the interesting about this is that with the cam, so it's closed right now. So if I try to light this lighter, there, there's nothing happening. And that's fine. It's similar to Zippo. If you were off camping and this was, you know, um, you had no fuel, you could, you know, could technically start a fire that way as well if everything was quite dry. But the minute I open the cam, now fuel's being released and the lighter lights. All right, close it and it's gone. So I can insert the lighter. Now it's a bit stiff in the 41, but it's not too stiff. It actually slides in quite smooth if you give it just a little bit of a push. At the end here, I find it a little bit tough. Open the cam, close the lid. And there it is. Now this is a bit heavier than what it came with. It's actually got a nice weight to it. I don't mind that weight. Open it up, light it, close. Closed, open, light, closed, open. And if I wanna just do this, it'll turn the fuel off, right? Just make sure you put it back when you're done. And that's it. So that's gonna be my new lighter, part of my EDC, part of my camp carry. Uh, I like brass, I like it because it does patina with it being in the pocket and taking in and out. Um, I, I, uh, I really like the feel of this lighter. I like the look of it. Um, I noticed that, you know, with the vector in it, the hinges aren't sitting 100% straight, but I don't think any hinge does on these Zippo lighters. I seem to remember last one feeling that way. Let me know in the comments below if you yourself have a Zippo lighter with a vector butane insert and uh, how it's going for you. If you've had any troubles with these uh, vector inserts or if you've had any troubles itself with the Zippo and the vector combination, it'd be interesting to know. If you've had any warranty troubles, not necessarily with Zippo, but with Vector, that'd be good to know in the comments. And uh, yeah, go from there. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in this type of thing, first impression videos, or some of my other video series, please feel free to check them out and subscribe to my channel. And that's all I got for you today. Stay tuned, I got a little uh, outtake here on the re end of the video, but other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, everyone. Zipper is a zippo. Zipper. Great thing about your zipper. Great thing about zippo is it. And that's my first impression of the zippo lighter with the vector butane insert. I really like this lighter. First and foremost, a zipper 19. Zippo. I seem to keep wanting to call it zipper. Let's try that again. So that's what I've done. So it does. Uh, it does slide in, but it takes a little bit of work here to slide in. And here comes the cat. Say hi, Rascal. Can you say hi? Yeah?